welcome to Chicory, A Colorful Tale. I'm Cinnabunny and we're back here with the second episode. Um, as you can see, I'm on a title menu again and it has changed a bit since the last time. So apparently the game changes its starting screen once you've, you know, started a new game. And I think it's really cute, you can actually um, you know, paint um, the starting screen too. For example, I can just be like, Oh, hey, I'm Cinnabunny and I was here. Graffiti. <laughs> anyway, um, I think it's cute. I think it's very, very cute. I say that a lot playing this game. I'm aware of that, but it just... It just is cute. <laughs> There's not much more I can say about this, but let's get right into it. So, in the last episode, we stopped um, stopped the episode right in front of the coffee shop. We designed a t-shirt and yeah, we explored the town and the villages a bit. We saw what they had to offer and what quests they had for us. Um, but I think now's a good point, you know, to like... You know keep going and explore other areas we're still on chapter one and as you can see there's like trees blocking away uh, in the southwest of the cafe so we can't really go there so i had a different direction then so we've learned okay here's supper woods um we've learned from an npc called um i think it was called time that some flowers they shrink as you can see when you paint them and then others they grow when they're blank so we paint them and then we can you know just march through and this is also an interesting touch if you walk over stuff that you've painted like those flowers it will erase the paint and you'll have to paint it again um, I'll just mark the way that we all know that we went there tend to go exploring quite a bit and then I get lost and also just coloring out the way I went it's just way too much fun okay I think I want to head down first oh who's that there's so much I want to go to this, in this, into this cave yum cave I guess there's like some delicious treats. Oh, and I have... Okay, I guess the colors aren't necessarily different, but inside the cave they look different, I guess. But there's not really much to see, sadly. Okay, let's skip that one for now. I'm sure there's like a trick to it on how it works. Um, okay, we came from here. I just haven't figured it out yet. But let's see. The luncheon. Oh, and I, I think, are you hearing what I'm hearing? I think there's a lost kid in the tree. And last kid. So this is our second last kid. Uh, I have no idea what I can do with them just yet, but yeah, I'm a sucker for collectibles. We already figured that out last time. So, Beans, he's a cat, I guess. Let's see what Beans has to say. Anyway, I think it's cute that he's called Beans because cats have beans on their little fluffy toes. Oh, hey! You seen any critters around? My cats went off one... Uh, my cats went and wandered off. Okay, so now I guess we know where the lost kids go for the millionth time. Oh! You're the one who found my kids. Much appreciated. Well, if you see more, send them here. I'll be keeping an eye on them. Come in and say hi sometime. 
Look at it's interesting. I wonder how many lost kids there are. Do we still have the lost kids in? Yeah, we still have the lost kids, and as we can see. Today I feel a bit depressed, so I guess <laughs> I'm not that good when it comes to painting stuff. Pardon me, guys. I should be a bit more cheerful and upbeat. I'm really trying here, okay? Let's see. Oh, there's the kids. That's cute. And what's that? Well, I can sit here. Doesn't really do much, I suppose. I feel like that one should be lime. And itself it should be like turquoise. I have a sofa. Maybe you can see it in the background. Uh, and it's like a light blue color. And the bed is obviously like turquoise. Tick, tick, tick. So, Beans, what do you have to say for yourself, for us returning your precious kids? Hey, the kids are alright. Oh, that's like a. <laughs> there's this Fallout Boy song that's called The Kids Are Alright. Um, from the American Beauty, American Psycho album. That's quite a good song. Makes me sad. Fall Out Boy makes me sad. I ain't about to take my eyes off him anytime soon. But I'm worried about the others out there. I'm still missing too. Little rascals. Okay, I guess we got two more kids to find. I think we can do that, right? We will manage. Painty, painty, painty. I really do hope at one point you can get more colors. I just think it's so much more fun if you have a bigger color palette. So like design. The world around you. Okay. I guess I can go to the swamp there, but I can't because there's trees in a way. Oh yeah, interesting. Hmm. I wonder if there is like a, a way to get rid of the trees. I'm sure there is at one point. We just haven't gotten the ability yet. Or maybe we do have the ability and I'm just I'm just too dumb. There's another lost kid and also my colors like the paintbrush colors they look different here too it's interesting how depending on the area you're in the, the colors they change a bit like just the shade of it changes a bit yay we found a lost kid this makes number three as you can see Oh, those, uh, I prefer the shades, I have to be honest. I wonder if I paint myself now. Oh, I guess I hope it stays this way. Funny enough, there's no blue tones. But I don't mind it, I have to say. Okay, let's see if I stay this Oh yeah, I f oh, okay, interesting. So, I guess depending on the area, the colors of my paintbrush change. But if I paint myself, um, I will stay this way. That's quite cute. I think I'm going to lock the color, color changes on myself in, so I don't lose these colors. But it's good to know for the future. Interesting touch. Once again, I think this game just really surprises me with its little features. Okay. Okay, yeah, let's go this way. And we found our last kit. Yay, four kits. 
I have a feeling that this is going to grant us the ability we need to progress. But let's see. First of all, I have to paint the floor. That seems like a right thing to do. So, what is up top there? I can really walk there, I guess. If I blank them, can I? Oh, oh, and oh, we're getting our first present. Look, we got a gift. I got a beanie. Oh, I'm going to wear that. I feel like this is the point where I should uh, leave the game for a second and return with a beanie. I'm not quite sure if I have beanies at the moment. Um. Oh yeah, wait, I locked myself so I can really change um, the color of the beanie. But I'm going to go, I'm going to go with a white beanie, purple beanie. I think a white beanie, that would be nice. Yeah, I like it. Give me a second, I'm going to try and see if I have a hat that matches. <laughs> Just a second, I'll be right back. Hi guys, I'm back. And I have to disappoint you. I had a beanie, but I lost it the other day on the train. Sad face. Um, this was the best <laughs> I could do. Um, I guess you could consider that a beanie in some ways. It looks like a gothic kitty that's just, you know, nibbling on my head. But sorry to disappoint again. I don't think I'm actually going to wear this for the playthrough. I think it looks a bit ridiculous. I think we can all agree on that. Anyway, um, yeah, thanks for the gift. So what's up here? Oh, interesting. Uh, this game is really great. I have to say the developers did sh so did did such a genius job with it. You know, this game feels simple all the way through, but not in a bad way. I think oftentimes keeping stuff simple and making the most out of the simplicity, I feel like that is quite hard and they managed to do such a splendid job with it. So hey developers, you can really be proud of yourself. You made a product that was fully worth its money, I have to say. And I understand why Enemy put it on the top 20 list of the best games of 2021. Actually, at this point, I also have to <laughs> correct myself because last time I said it was on Pitchfork's top 20 games list, it was actually NME. I put the link below on the last video on episode one. Um, so go check that one out and maybe check out the list of 20 best games according to NME. So we get to this character. I think she met, oh, I have an idea. S spoiler alert, probably not. <laughs> I think that might be the last wielder of the paintbrush. She does look like she could be a major character. Did Chicory give you that brush? Yeah. So it's worse than I thought. You don't seem ready. I hope I'm wrong. Come this way. Well, how mysterious. So I guess something really bad happened and us having the paintbrush uh, is a sign of disappointment for her. Supper Woods. Yay, we're officially in Supper Woods. Um, let's see what we can do here. So I guess Supper Woods has mostly these orangey, ready, artemy colors. Um, and I'm really into it, I have to say. I'm a huge, a huge, huge fan of autumn. I think it's the best season. I think in summer it's a bit too hot for my liking. I don't really do well with heat. Um, and in winter, I like the snow. I think snow is nice. But when it's too cold, 
I really don't like to go outside that much. Which, you know, doesn't make that much of a difference because I'm an introvert anyway. But still. Oh, oh, look how cute is that? So I guess there's a like, you know, tree paint jumping bomb thingies. And when you get on these thingies, they catapult you to the other side of the platform. Which I think is a very cute touch. Again, cute, cute, cute. I think at this point there should be like a Q2 meter. Um, maybe that would be a good idea for like a video compilation, counting all the times I said something was cute in this game. Okay. Let's see what this. Oh, oh, I, I think I have an idea. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I love how. This game is so genius with how it teaches you how these mechanics work. So you can actually decide in what, what direction you want to jump when you get on these trampoline trees. Let's call them trampoline trees. So let right, right, up. Yeah, and we got another gift. What could it be? A flower dress. I think I'm going to wear it now. But I want to change the colors, obviously. Oh, I wish I could have changed the flowers individually. I guess I cannot do that. Well, anyway, good enough for me. So, how do I get back down there now? Oh, yeah. Obviously. I hope I didn't forget. Oh, maybe I should have brought back the last lost kids. I think actually I'm going to backtrack a bit um, to bring back the ki kids, the lost kids and then I'm gonna come back. I think I'm, I might just make a cut back. Uh, Wait Bean's house. Let's see what she has to say. All the kittens, they're back and they look really adorable. Hey! This is my whole litter. Cute, huh? Oh my god, even the even the villagers, they're saying it now. It's self-awareness, guys. It's just... It's not just me, okay? When they aren't giving me a, a conniption. Whoa, okay. I feel like I owe you one. I got a headband. And of course I'm gonna wear it. It ain't much, but I hope it's handy for you. Let's see... Uh, what it says in the collectibles now. I have to be honest, I don't really, I'm not really into um, the bandana that much. A headband, not bandana. The bandana's cute. I'm gonna stick to the beanie. Well, anyway, let's head back. That was a quite a, quite a bit uh, underwhelming. I was hoping we would get like an ability or new colors. I'm always hoping to get new colors. We're back in Sepper Woods and we'll be on a merry way to the last holder of the brush before Chicory. She wanted us to follow her and that's what we're doing. Oops. Okay, so I guess I can choose in what direction I want to go if I want to go up there. Um, I'll just mark this as second, and this is the first way we went, just so we got an idea. Oh, there's litter. Wait, I want to pick up the litter first. As I said, I'm a sucker for those collectibles, but now how do I get downstairs? Oh, yeah, of course. This is our third litter. I still have no idea what to do with the litter. Uh, we've been told that there is like a, like a place where you can bring the letter to and yeah that's what we're going to do eventually <laughs> so ah oh, there's another lost kid okay I thought there were only four kids um maybe she or he I don't know what channel beans has I can never tell with these villages but, um, yeah, 
Strange. I guess you must have forgotten. <laughs> I found the last kid. Uh, all that backtracking was for nothing, eh? So, I guess this way we can, like, go back here. But I went this direction. Oh, that's cute. Um, yeah, let's head downstairs first. Downstairs. No, I'm not even going downstairs to certain words. So. Okay, I guess there's another catapulty kind of stuff going on here. Let me just mark the way. Jumpy, jumpy, jump, jump, jump. And we did it. Good. There's another present over there. How do we get there? I love how they're just, you know, showering us in presents. I think that's because I didn't, you know, get to take the very first present we saw. Okay, right, right, right up. Yes, guys. And I'm going to paint it just so we can keep track of where we went. Woo, present. And what could it be? A hoodie! Oh yeah, I'm going, I'm definitely going to wear that. Adorable. Um, yeah, wasn't there just one character in the cafe in the first episode that wanted us to wear like, um, like a pocket, a pocket jacket? Is that a pocket jacket? No, I guess it's not. But still, yeah, it's cute. I meant it. I just wish it were black. I think that would look nicer. Okay. What do those trees do? They look scary in a weird way. We got some Alita. We're such good cookies. Cleaning up the world. Painting everything. Uh, this is the yum cave, but from another direction. Okay, I like it though, because now I can like change all the colors. I have a darker shade of purple. And I'm going to change my hoodie. Oh, that's feisty. I like it. C cute color combination. Yep, yep, yep. Maybe there's like a fence and I just can't get through it. Ugh, how annoying. Anyway, I suppose we're not really supposed to go into the cave as of yet. So let's head downstairs first. And then we can go there as the second option. Okay, there's a house, there's another phone booth, if we want some tips. No, I don't want to take hints. I can't take a hint. I want to figure this game out on my own. Ah, oh, there's another last kit! I didn't even do that on purpose, I have to be fully honest. Yay! So this is kit number six. This game is just like beating us over the head with collectibles at this point. It feels like this is the house where we're supposed to go to. No, apparently not. There's no one here. Hello? It looks like an artist's home, though. So it's probably the house of, what was she called, Carrot or something? No, she's not called Carrot. Guys, do you remember what her name was? Oh, whoa, that looks, that looks scary. Can you 
Luca up those thingies, those ivies or whatever they are. Oh, I guess once I go over there, the weird black color fades. I'm a bit anxious to go there. Let's see what happens if I go this direction. Okay, there's like a gift here. I'm getting the gift first, obviously. If it's possible to get it, that is. Okay, yeah, easy. It's like it's Christmas and we got a scarf, which I'm going to wear. Okay, I guess the, <laughs> I guess the scarf counts as like a headpiece, funny enough. Okay, so I guess we're done there. So I'm going to raise the two and the one here. And I'm giving it like a, like... I went there, I finished it, we're good to go. Okay, I guess we can go south then. I guess we have to go south, there's no other option. I mean, at this one point we could have gone, got, gone north. Maybe I should have done that. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna backtrack a bit and go north. Now I feel like, ah, I don't want to forget exploring anything. Okay. that direction. Yeah, that's where it was. Okay, I hope this gets me to a place that makes sense. Oh yeah, it's just another present. I should have thought so. But good thing we backtracked and we got the present. Oh, and we got a bow. Oh, that's cute. I guess now I'm not so sure if um, <laughs> if Cinnabans is a girl or a guy either, but I would also say they're just like genderless. I guess all the characters, they have the gender you want them to, or maybe they don't, I mean, no, the villagers definitely do have genders. For example, Chicory, she's uh, referred to as a woman, um, but I guess with our character we're pretty much Gender neutral, I'd say. Let me just erase this and give it a... Dun, and then there. Um, which, I have to say, is also something I enjoy about this game, that it's so... You know, it doesn't put too much emphasis on, like, gender of the characters. I mean, they're animals, and it's like a cartoony thing. But still, I think it's a nice touch. Wait, am I being stupid? Oh yeah. Okay, now let's go the way we're actually supposed to. Jump, jump, jump! So, we headed downstairs. This is the direction we have to go. Yeah, I feel like when it comes to backtracking and going, oh my god, it's, oh, I'm scared there's something out of the blur happening again and I'm going to be scared again. Oh, please don't be scary. I don't have the nerves for scariness at the moment. Okay. I think, yeah, I think we should head downstairs and figure out what, what the hell is going on. But I want to make this episode a bit shorter than the last one. We're at 30 minutes. Um, yeah, and I want to keep the tension a bit. So I hope you join me for the next episode when we will figure out what exactly is going on down in that case. See you then.